I take back what I said earlier about you looking like a garden gnome. How many points do I have? I'm not a garden Who's gnome. Who's keeping score here? I am. How many okay. points do I have? <laughs> Let's just move on. Welcome to I Bought You Didn't Know, the show where our guests will take a few minutes to prove they know what they think they know, and if they don't know, they don't go home. Bill, let's start with you. What do you think? Boop, 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 <laughs> Are you tapping boop. on your hand? My answer is de-risk. Yeah, as in, I wish we could de-risk this room of a certain person. What is GPT in a box? A late night nom nom from my favorite restaurant. No. What is a hybrid multi-cloud? Bill, can you explain that? Or you want Absolutely to... not, Mike. <laughs> For multiple clouds using a common operating model, you add in the on-prem piece that gives you hybrid, and don't forget the edge too. That's included. Oh. Yeah, it stands for Net Promoter Score. I'll say hyperconverged infrastructure since that's the foundation of a hybrid multi-cloud platform. The data center is not necessarily the center of data anymore, so understanding and having data services where your data is, no matter what. Nutanix is is uh, really well known for having an NPS of over 90 for the last eight years. Something we're really proud of. EOL. What does it stand for? Electronica Online. Huh? Electronica online? Yeah. Uh, succinctly s <laughs> firm. Bill, let me help you out there. How about we go to succinctly succinct for one? Bill's total cost of ownership of being part of the tax organization probably pretty high. That's not fair. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> GPUs are required to do generative AI. I didn't Legit get a buzzer. I Fun fact, I like to think of myself as a data scientist. That's because you've been around for 50 years. 